guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Julia and I actually make college related vlogs and lifestyle videos here on YouTube but for today's video we're gonna be doing a little iOS 14 iPhone customization slash organization tips and tricks I've never done one of these videos before on my channel so if you enjoy it please let me know in the comments that way I know to make more of these types of videos in the future for my home screen I sort of went for this trendy slash Instagram baddie aesthetic if you're interested in getting sort of a similar look to mine I will have literally every single photo besides like my personal photos in a dedicated Pinterest board so definitely stay tuned as I will be talking more about that when we get there the four main things that I will be covering in today's video are widget smith shortcuts app library and the back tap feature these are just the four main updates that a lot of people have been using ever since the update came out so we're going to go through all of those and there will be timestamps in the description of this video so if you're looking for only one of those features just definitely skip ahead please do me a favor and subscribe and comment down below as it really helps my channel and my goal right now is to get to 50k subscribers with all that being said let's finally go ahead and get started with today's video first things first you're obviously going to want to have both widget smith and the shortcuts app downloaded onto your phone obviously both apps are completely free and you could go ahead and find them in the app store i had to go back and re-download shortcuts because this is an app that i had gotten rid of like a long time ago you're also going to want to go ahead and already have some photos on your gallery of pictures that you want to use like in your homepage. like i said earlier i do have a pinterest board with every photo that i pretty much use i will have my username on the screen for pinterest and i'll also put like a screenshot of what the board is called Instagram is another great place to find trendy and aesthetic photos I had so many photos already saved from either bloggers or even from like clothing boutiques or online stores they have so many cute like filler photos that you could just screenshot and use I really recommend looking at Princess Polly's Instagram feed they have so many cute trendy photos and they're always like posting more and more photos so I definitely recommend them not sponsored or anything like that I just I don't know they just have cute photos Pinterest also has so many good quotes as well so I recommend that too and then the last thing to do before we get started is just to have a very simplistic minimal background obviously we're already gonna have so many widgets and app covers on our phone by the end of this so make sure to keep your home screen background just very simple and minimal I know I just did a simple light pink background with sort of like these white stars that I found on Pinterest so again I will have it in that one folder people actually start off by sort of removing the apps that they don't want on their home screen for me I don't want this Outlook app that I have currently on my screen so what I'm gonna do is actually just press on it edit home screen click the little like minus that it has on the top left corner of whatever app you don't want and then you're basically just gonna click move to app library um, and then I'm just gonna click done because that's the only app that I wanted to move out of my home screen I have removed like most of them by now I think there's also a way to remove a lot of apps at the same time so you don't have to go ahead and do it individually but personally I don't know how to do that because by the time I figured out that there was a way I was already pretty much done with my whole phone so that's sort of like how to get rid of apps when you don't want them seen on your home screen to get to your library you're actually just gonna swipe all the way to the right you're gonna find literally all your apps how they normally would have looked like on your home screen what I do like is that the apps are already organized for you in different folders the next thing that I'm gonna run over is how to create this little calendar widget. Obviously, you're gonna wanna have the Widget Smith app already downloaded onto your phone. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click on it. And as you could tell, I already sort of experimented with so many widgets. So these first four options were the ones that I tried out, but I really ended up loving the second option, which is the pale pink slash pink color. And it just has like this white border. We're gonna go ahead and come all the way down to where it says add small widget. And as you guys could tell it just popped up this little small number 11 widget so we're gonna click on that we're gonna click on tap to rename so we're gonna rename it I actually recommend renaming it into what it actually is so I'm gonna rename this one just like 
testing calendar because this isn't the calendar that I actually want to keep it's just like a test calendar instead of using numbers it's honestly so much more easier when you use like what it actually is and then we're gonna go ahead and click on default widget and as you could tell it brought me to this page feel free to take the time to look through all these options they literally have so many things you could add as a widget but for today's video we're gonna be doing the one under the date section and it's the one that says month and date so that's the one that I chose and then for font I just went ahead and did the New York one because I really like that one the best for tint color I believe I just left it in white so we're just gonna leave that in white and then for background color as you could tell they have so many colors to choose from and the one that I selected was this pale pink color but I think for right now I'm gonna go ahead and just use a different one just so there could be a contrast when you're done sort of customizing your calendar you're gonna go ahead and click that top left arrow and that's gonna take you back to where you were and then you just click save on the top right corner and as you could tell it's the one that's listed pretty much all the way in the bottom in order to add your calendar into your home screen you're gonna go back to your home screen first of all and you're just gonna press literally on anywhere on that screen you're gonna click that little plus button in the top left corner and scroll literally all the way down select widget smith we're just gonna click add widget all the way in the bottom and as you could tell it popped up the one that I originally do have on my screen but the one that we're gonna be testing out is obviously the one that's like a black color so we're gonna select small number two and this is actually the reason why I think it's a whole lot smarter to rename your widgets to what they actually are so we're gonna go ahead and click testing calendar because that's obviously the one that I'm testing out right now you click literally anywhere on the screen and as you could tell it just pops up the one that we were supposed to have on the screen so you click done well, that's obviously how we do calendars using widget smith and i'm actually going to go ahead and delete this one or click remove widget just because the calendar that i had already made for my phone is this one right here so that's the one that i decided to choose next up i'm actually going to show you guys how to do these medium sized widgets i just basically used this photo of some lips that i found off of pinterest i just thought that was so aesthetic the one that's in the middle right here i also did get this photo off of pinterest i just love the aesthetic of like the old computer background so i just really love how that looks in order to do these medium sized widgets you again you just go back to widget smith and you go all the way down past the small sized widgets as you guys could tell i was experimenting with other things as well i did a medium sized like brat stall but i just didn't love how it looked so i just went with like my other options that you see here you're gonna click add medium widget and again it's gonna pop up a little medium sized widget all the way in the bottom and then you're gonna want to rename it again so tap to rename i think i'm just gonna rename it like testing medium you're gonna click on default widget once again and there are so many options for different things if you want to do something else the one i'm gonna be doing today is just adding a standard photo scroll down to custom Custom, click on photo click selected photo in the bottom left corner you're gonna go ahead and click on that black screen and literally just choose whatever photo you want for your medium-sized widget I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Dior one for now click on the top left arrow and click save there is our medium-sized testing widget so we're gonna go ahead and go back to the home screen press anywhere on that home screen and then you're gonna click the top left plus sign um, go all the way down to the bottom where it says widget Smith this time we're actually gonna swipe to the right so that the medium widget is in the middle and then you're gonna click add widget as you can tell it popped up a different one so you just click anywhere on that photo click on the name of it and then basically just click on your desired widget so mine was testing medium click anywhere on that screen and and as you could tell it just changed into the Dior one that one actually does look really aesthetic but I really don't want to add too many widgets or else there's gonna be like too much going on so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it next up we're actually gonna go ahead and do app covers my app covers literally have anything from like euphoria to madison beer to fashion on this page i have kendall jenner alexa demi i'm actually gonna go ahead and do the one for lightroom which is why i haven't added a photo to that one yet we're gonna go ahead and go into the app shortcuts i don't have one for lightroom yet so we're gonna go all the way to the top we're gonna click on that little plus sign in the top right corner you're gonna select add option and then you're 
gonna select scripting, click on open app, and then right there where it says choose, you're gonna go ahead and look for the app that you're looking for. So for me, it's Lightroom. Click the three little dots in the top right corner, shortcut name. For the shortcut name, I'm just gonna put in what I want it to appear as. I just went ahead and put Lightroom in all lowercase just because that's the aesthetic I'm going for. You're gonna click add to home screen. To actually add the photo, you're gonna click on the icon in the bottom and then you're gonna click on choose photo. You could literally choose any photo in your gallery. I'm gonna go ahead and do the top middle one just because I wanna add more fashion things in there. And as you could tell, I actually screenshotted this photo off of Princess Polly's Instagram. I'm telling you, they have so many cute photos that you could use. We're gonna go ahead and click choose in the bottom right corner. And then you're gonna go ahead and click add in the top right corner and then click done as well and then done once again and as you can tell Lightroom now appears as one of the shortcuts so that's how you know that you did it the right way you're gonna go ahead and go back to your home screen and as you can tell right under shortcuts it says Lightroom with the photo that I wanted it to be I'm gonna go ahead and do a little quick montage of how I sort of reorganize and finalize this page right here montage starting now tell I went back and I switched out a few of the photos and honestly it looks so much more cohesive now and I actually do like how this page came out just because I definitely was struggling with it the most out of all three of them this is basically what everything looks like in the end honestly I'm so proud this literally took forever though the last thing I'm gonna do is just to move shortcuts and widget smith into my app library again we're gonna click on edit home screen and then move to library for both of those and yeah this is pretty much how everything looks I'm literally just so happy at this point Last thing we're gonna do is the back tap feature and I actually haven't tried this out yet so I'm so interested to see how this works. We're gonna go ahead and start off by going into settings and then we're gonna scroll down to accessibility. Once we're there we're gonna go into touch and then scroll all the way down until you see back tap. There's two features so there's the double tap and then the triple tap option and I'm actually gonna be using both of these just because I'm really interested to see how they work. For option one I'm gonna go ahead and do screenshot just because I literally take so many screenshots it's not even funny and then we're gonna go back and then for triple tap we're gonna go ahead and do YouTube because I honestly just stay on YouTube so yeah there we go it's all the way in the bottom I'm pretty sure it should work now so we're gonna go ahead and tap it twice in the back and see if it does take a screenshot so one two oh my god it did work and then we're gonna go ahead and try YouTube so we're gonna tap it three times One, two, three. There we go. Okay, so it did take me some time to figure out the triple tap, but it did work. So that is actually it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys took something from this video. If you guys decide to recreate your home screens using photos from my Pinterest board, definitely either DM me or tag me on your Instagram story so I could repost you. I would love to see what you guys create with my similar aesthetic. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Thank you guys once again for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.